414 Ministries. This is Tracy. And today I'm going to talk to you about faith versus presumption. Now, see, I talk a lot about faith, stepping out in faith, moving forward with God. Don't hold back. Don't be afraid to step forward. But, see, there's a flip side to that going too. How do we know when we're moving forward with God and when we're not actually jumping ahead of God instead. Well, I've got a verse here from Isaiah 55, 8 through 9. Listen to this, okay? And it reads like this. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Wow, that is pretty cool, huh? And we kind of know that. We know that God's thoughts and His ways are just so much more than what we can even perceive, right? So that's why we're always seeking the Lord's will. We, Our goal, our desire is to be on the right track with God, doing the things that He's saying for us to do, having His blessing on our decisions, not being at our decisions and asking for His blessing, saying, Oh, Lord, please go with me this direction. Oops, can't go that direction, can I, huh? Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, again, we're talking about faith versus presumption. Let me give you an example in my own life, okay? I have many times moved out in what I thought was extraordinary faith, just great faith. But what was it? It was a really stupid decision, okay? It was really, really dumb. It's like, okay, see this this canyon where I'm in here? It's like a little creek bed, right? And it goes around in a circle. And that's kind of like your life sometimes where you're not sure, should I go this direction? Should I go that direction? Or should I go this direction? Which kind of is just up against a wall here. And sometimes that's the direction we choose without really realizing it. Here's a verse from Proverbs, okay? And it says, there is a way that seems right to a man but its end is the way of death. And that's Proverbs 16, 25. See, and a lot of times the way that seems right to a person is oftentimes presumption. It's us jumping to conclusions, us trying to help God out, thinking God needs a little helper and I'm it. (laughs) And the biggest one of why we jump ahead of God is because We've waited entirely too long. I know God wants me to help him out now because he has done nothing. It's been a week. It's been a month. It's been a year. It's it's been a lot of times that's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll wait for what we think is a really long period of time. And we're seeking the Lord and we're pacing back and forth. We're looking at our watch. We're like, all right, Lord, come on. be wanting me to do something. So what do we do? We jump on ahead at the first thing that looks good. But see, everything that comes along isn't necessarily from God. See, a lot of times we're we're like, Lord, I've only got so long to find the right guy, have kids, and, and still enjoy my life. Lord, I only have so much time to make so much money. I mean, I only have so much time to get the perfect house. I only have, and we go on and on and on. Guys, listen to me, friends. We do not want to get the wrong husband or the wrong job or the wrong place. Oh, it's a nightmare. You do want to wait on God. That extra year or so that you had to wait, tell me, I'll tell you what, it'll be worth it in the long run. You'll be saying, oh, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, God, you had me wait. You know, a lot of times people move out ahead of God or move in presumption. It's because We're not happy with God's timing. We say, oh, no, that can't be right. (laughs) Did you just see the bird fly right in front of me? Oh, my goodness. See, that's just like God. so rude. No, no, no. See, that's just like God's timing. See, it's going to be a suddenly. It's going to be right there in front of your face. You cannot miss it. He doesn't need your help. He will bring it along. If he needs you to do something, or not needs you, but if he wants you to do something, he will let you know. He is more than able to uh, make you hear, make you see, make you understand what it is that he wants you to do. 
I see guys in this next verse listen to this in 1 Corinthians 1 25 it says for the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength see well sometimes we're trying to reason things out in our own human wisdom but it's nothing compared to God's wisdom like the verse that we first started with in Isaiah my thoughts are higher than your thoughts we can't even imagine or perceive what it is that God's going to do I know so many times I figured okay God's gonna do it this way this way or this way he's gonna meet my need this way he's gonna pay this bill that way um we're gonna end up taking this job and doing this over here and it just never works out the way that I thought he brings along a whole new scenario that wasn't even part of the mix there I mean he just like the birds flying in front right there right it's just something woo, right there out of the blue and it just comes along and you know sometimes our presumptuous acts can actually slow us down see we're trying to do it in our own self efforts we're trying to figure it out we're trying to do it in our strength right but when we do that when we get ahead of God when we jump out and try and do something that we think we're supposed to do it slows us down and we have to go around that mountain again and so it takes us a lot T longer to even get to where we wanted to go in the first place. Now the most famous examples in the Bible is Abraham and Sarah. And listen to this part, just a little section in there in Genesis chapter 16 verse 2 and it says, the Lord has kept me from having children. This is Sarah speaking to Abraham, okay? Go sleep with my servant and perhaps I can build a family through her. If you're not familiar with this story, let me just bottom line it for you, okay? God gave Abraham a promise that he was going to have a son. Now, many, many, many years have gone by, at least 10 years have gone by, and so now this is Sarah trying to help God out, saying, well, maybe this is what he meant, and this is how he's going to fulfill his promise. No, God means what he says. No, because what? Abraham and Sarah waited so long for the promise. This is what Sarah says in Genesis 16, 2. He says, the Lord has kept me from having children. Go Oh, sleep with my servant perhaps I can build a family through her so what is she doing she's jumping ahead of God she's being presumptuous as to what the Lord okay. meant now don't you dare point your finger at Sarah and Abraham because we've all been there we've all wanted to rush ahead and help God out with what he told us or what we think that he's trying to do we've jumped ahead and got ourselves into hot water so here's the big question how do I know the difference between faith and presumption how do I know when I'm jumping ahead or trying to help God out well there's a lot of little things that we can go by here first of all of course there's prayer right and we if we have that check in our spirit that's where you start feeling a little anxious and you're not so sure if maybe you should do it or not that means you need to either wait or God saying no don't go in that direction we need to also put some time in with the Lord we need to read his word is what you're wanting to do or wanting to help God with against his word. God's already spoken about it in his word. Guess what? The answer is no. He's not going to contradict himself just for you in your special circumstances, also, right? Also, in other ways, God will confirm what he's spoken to us or through his word through other people. He will bring along a person and they will confirm that thing, which we have peace about already in our life, realizing, yeah, that is the answer. Or they will confirm, no, this isn't what we're supposed to be doing. And you'll be like, oh, wow, that is from God. I'm so glad I didn't go in that direction. Woo, look at all those birdies coming by. I tell you what, guys, God is so awesome the way he can bring things along, okay? But oftentimes we're tempted to move forward in what we want to do because it's what we want to do. We haven't made ourselves neutral to it. We haven't made ourselves dead to it. So that way when God brings something along or he brings an answer and it's contrary to what we want, we're like, oh, no, that can't be from God. But yes, it is. That's why we have to make ourselves neutral to that and say, oh, okay, I realize. I'm not supposed to do that and be ready and willing to do what it is that he wants you to do Hey guys do you realize the greatest amount of faith is demonstrated on waiting on God on his timing I know it's some of the hardest stuff to do but there are times when God wants you to just wait and that's the faith he's requiring of you at that point in time. Hey guys, I really hope this helped you out. This is Tracy from Esther 414 Ministries.